All right, now, if you have breadcrumbs enabled, uh, you have quite a few options to determine the path that shows up here. So I guess this would be more useful uh, if I open the file and you can see the breadcrumbs. Actually, let's open one that's further down uh, a folder, which makes, makes things a little bit easier to understand. Okay, so and let's pull this to, to another um, editor group. Okay, so you see those breadcrumbs right there, right? And um, the file path controls uh, whether and how file paths are shown in the breadcrumbs view. On show the file path on the breadcrumbs view. Okay, so by default, this is, I think it's set to on by default. I'm not entirely sure. Actually, we can check that out um, by going to the default settings and breadcrumbs. Yeah, it's set to on by default. Okay, so on, uh, shows you the file the, the file path in the breadcrumbs view, which is this thing right here, right? So if you if you're editing a particular file, you'll see the file path from the beginning of the repository uh, up into the file. Okay, what other settings do we have here? We have uh, off, meaning you will only see the ellipses that shows the um, the symbols in this file, right? Like so. Not very useful, I think. And last, at least not to me. And last means uh, you're only going to see the last element in a file path in the breadcrumbs view, meaning the file itself, which I don't find uh, useful either. Uh, I mean, not as useful. Let's let's jump to this one. Not as useful as um, having the whole path because uh, having the uh, only the file means we can jump between files in the same folder, but we cannot jump between uh, you know folders uh, higher up in the in the uh, structure. So I think on, which is the default option, is really quite good because you can press command uh, shift command um, period, and you can navigate your whole repository, right? Even change repositories if if you want. So I, th I find that pretty useful. So I'm leaving this one set to on.